All right, all right, one's like a garden hose. <laughs> Jesus. Got me a saltwater special. Okay, working on my Volvo 81 here and She's kind of locked up as you can see. Water in the pan as you saw earlier. But a couple of the rod bearings seized onto the crank. It's probably the water from the blown head gasket and kept running it. So we got some aluminium in that oil hole right there. And we gotta beat the bearings. <laughs> machine this crank well here's the root cause of a lot of our Volvo problems here you know this thing was used in salt brackish water in Maryland and it was a raw cooled engine and look what it did to the head gasket there it's completely rotted out and water just is allowed to go right into that cylinder and game over so the other side, believe it or not, wasn't, wasn't that bad, but that's what killed it. We're gonna have to do some crank work, probably take the crank 10. Got some aluminum here on the journals from being locked up. So we're gonna have to uh, wet mag that, make sure it's good. Block, we're gonna probably end up boring it, I'm sure. Needs done as well, so we'll get this old 8-1 fixed up in this uh, 2005 25 foot Chris graph, I guess. check our 8-1 crank for straightness. I just wet magged it and it is not cracked, but we know it's got some rod bearing damage here on cylinder three. So let's, chances are it's bent when you got damage like that. So let's see, I got our zeroed in. Back out so you can see. Oh yeah. Been about 15, 14 thousands. I'm rotating obviously. So we'll straighten it using the impeding method. So we'll hit it on the low side. We'll strike it right here. And that should fix me up because that's where most of the damage is contained. Alright, I got done with the first strikes. Right here in the radius. You can see where I hit it there and I hit it there. And rotating it um, within five. So we got to hit it a little bit more, a little more aggressive. All right, a few more taps, and I'm happy with it. I'm going to rotate it. We're within one there. That's fine. And you see how it wiggles around because we got some damage on this main, too. So, you know, I'm not expecting an L exacto here, but it sure ain't 15 thousandths like it was. back up. Some of this is me wiggling it. But see, it stays right there. So, it's straight enough to grind. So, like I say, we'll get it. got some damage. All I did was hit right here on the low side. You hit it on the low side of the bin, and it straightens that metal out. So, you can see where all this damage is right there. Like I say, you want to strike the radius to relax the metal. So, we got her straight. Let's grind her. All right, we got indexed in. Let's see what we can do with this out of round hog.
some steady rest here to get some sparks out. We got a couple more sparks yet. So we know we should be pretty round there. Check our Arnold gauge here, we'll bring him down in. Ha! Well, I don't think he gave straighter neck. <laughs> Holy shit, that's dead. I mean, dead zero means nothing. I don't know where my gauge is, but I'm just looking at the straightness of the journal. That's about as frozen as frickin' needle as you can get. <laughs> that's me, Wiggler. Wow, that's awesome. Alright, let's shut her down and let's measure this thing. All right, I was miking it here to see where we're at. And I'm at two inch 90 on the nut. So actually my Arnold gauge was pretty close. I just took a stab at it. So that, that's not bad. I think we'll uh, set the Arnold gauge up, and I want to finish about 99, 99 and a half is what I'm looking for, so we'll take about another three quarter or so thaw out and be good to go. All right, I walked over to the other side. This has got some build up on it, so we'll knock this stuff off. Polished, cleaned, came out pretty good. 10 under, good enough for this old 2005 Chris Craft. 8 1, full of water, junk. <laughs> Not anymore, we're gonna fix it up. Inserted and fixed. And all these thread bolt holes are the ones that were junk. Came up pretty nice. So now we'll bore. Boring your Volvo 81, turn it over. Just clean and flowing the injectors in our Volvo 81. Very important step on an engine rebuild, especially a boat. And 
man, that is really good. Ship it. Shot pop the 8 1. Let's do it. Oh, come on, baby. Shot pop. Here's our 8 1 GI dash up bubble overhaul. Was a saltwater special? No, it's not. 